something real But you don't even know me But you don't even know me Burning deeper in my chest An urge I can't resist And you can't go where I'm going You can't go where I'm going Cause it's only me, myself and I Standing on the edge of two a die A broken heart that's worth a try I'm just living my life Hey guys, welcome to my channel I'm gonna need you to work with me and pretend I don't look like this, okay? My hair is just... I don't wanna talk about it. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about Night Swim, which is my swimwear brand. <gasps> we are launching the new colors in a couple of days now. Today is Wednesday and they launch on Friday, March 29th. So if you saw this post, you would know when the launch is. I also posted a little group pic on the Night Swim page. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Night Swim. Hey, hey guys. I'm gonna vlog, okay? What? You wanna vlog? I'm talking to myself, okay? Big them. <laughs> hey guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm currently in Oakville right now. At a hotel, in bed, because I don't wanna get up. <laughs> Joey's in the shower. Okay, we had a really good day yesterday. We were in Toronto all day. We went shopping. I'll show you everything I got. I got some jeans, some Levi's. So I'll make sure I show you guys that. And I got some stuff from Adidas. I spent like $300 and I got like three things. Love that. It's Monday now. So we were in Toronto like all day Sunday. We stayed at the hotel Sunday night. And now it is Monday at like 7 a.m. Joey's company had some work to do around the Oakville area pretty early this morning. And I also needed to be in the Oakville area for photo shoot for night swim. So right now we're just gonna get ready and we're gonna go have breakfast. There's a Denny's attached to our hotel. So I think we're just gonna go there and then get the day started. So I will show you all the behind the scenes of night swim. I'm gonna be working with this photographer named Leanne Snow. Uh, I found her on Instagram. Her profile is amazing. I just really like her vision and her like view and how she takes pictures. So I asked her if she wanted to be the night swim photographer and she said yes. So we've been planning this for a very long time and I'm so happy that my suits finally arrived. So we have five different models, the girls of all different sizes so that, so that you guys can see all of the styles on different body types. I think that's everything. So I'm gonna turn this camera off now cause Joey's naked. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, so first of all, I got some jeans. These are from Levi's. I really wanted jeans that didn't have rips and that were high-waisted and that were tight. So I got size 27 from Levi's. I don't know, that's just what fit. Okay, so I got those. What? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> those jeans were $120, love that. And then I got two things from the Adidas store. Now these are like Adidas or originals. <laughs> I don't know, they're just, they're fucking sick. Okay, do you see this shit? It's fucking sick. Okay, so I got this jacket. It's like a really dark purple. I've been looking for kind of like a windbreaker, to, but this is like a little bit thicker than a windbreaker. I don't know. It has these like random things. I really like the stripes on the sleeves. And then it just says Adidas on the pockets. And it's high neck, and you guys know I love a high neck zipper. And then I just got this little black t-shirt. Now this is velvet, so it's super, super soft. It's like a red and black. And then on the back, it just has this little patch thing. That's everything I got. Spent $300. <laughs> yeah. Oh look who it is! Good morning! I took a ah. good shower. <laughs> I'm just showing everybody your bed. See that number one? If you need a metal building, this is where you go. Got it? <laughs> Good. You have the key, yeah. Yes, I have the key. Are you sure? I, you can see it. It's right there in my bed. <laughs> Give the sick ankle. So the launch is 9 a.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time is where I am now in Ontario, and then it's 8 a.m. CST, 1 p.m. GMT, 10.30 p.m. ACST, which is the Australian Central Standard Time. So that's somewhere in Australia. Now Australia has a bunch of different time zones. Just make sure you check 
your time zone. Google it, it's super easy. Just convert the time to your time zone. That is when the launch is. So I thought I would go over the suits. Now, hopefully you all watched my last Night Swim video in which there was a big try on haul. I got a whole bunch of different girls, a bunch of different body types, different races, different skin tones. I got a whole bunch of different girls and we went to my friend Sydney's store called Brooks. So we went to that store and we filmed a big try and haul. So I'm not gonna do a huge try and haul again like that because the suits do fit almost exactly the same. There are some changes and that's what I'm gonna go through right now. I have laid out all the suits right here. Don't mind them not matching, it's just cause I wanted to show all four new colors that are coming back. So the pink here, the yellow and the blue, those are from last launch and they will be coming back for this summer. And then the new ones, this one right here, right there and right there. The styles are the same. I just made the tiniest little tweaks that I wanted to show you guys right now, just so that you're not surprised or anything like that. The fabric's the exact same. So it is gonna, their suits are gonna feel the same. So first, this is the Khaleesi suit and I am keeping the name. I checked on the copyright. I did a whole bunch of research on it. I am keeping this suit as the Khaleesi suit. So you know, get that Khaleesi suit for that new Game of Thrones that's launching soon. <laughs> over here this was oh it's just you spoke you can t cut these tags off by the way <laughs> they are required in all clothing items okay this next suit this was previously the aphrodite suit but i changed it to the angel suit i have no explanation i just i changed the names <laughs> so angel aphrodite they're the same now, it's just called Angel. This was previously the Rihanna suit, but Rihanna's name is copyrighted. This is now the Raven suit. This is the previous one, this is the new one here. I'm gonna go through each of the little changes for each one. Okay, so we are gonna start with the Khaleesi suit, which is the very first one that I showed you. Where to begin? First of all, all the suits are not seamless anymore. The reason for this is because when you lay the suits flat, they were getting all like bunchy here and like this part rolls. So the suits, they were like, it was just not laying flat. It wasn't looking as clean as I wanted it to. Now we added a small seam here to all the suits and they lay perfectly flat on your body. They're just, they're so much cleaner to me. And adding a seam did stop the camel toe. So when you have anything seamless, it's just, it's gonna ride up more because the fabric can slide everywhere. So it like just slides kind of up you, you know? Now that we added these seams down the sides, I find, at least for me, I don't get camel toe in these at all. So Camel Toe has been taken care of due to adding a slight seam into all of the suits. Now the only one that we didn't add a seam to was this top because this top already lays perfectly flat. It's literally just a triangle and it looked a bit weird to put a seam here on the top of the triangle. So we just left this one seamless. You can adjust it on the bottoms here. It's just it's so, so stretchy. This fabric is so soft. This top does not have any adjustable things around your ribs, but it is extremely stretchy. It's super, super comfortable. And then you can adjust the shoulder straps and it kind of makes like an X on your back like that. Dude, I love it. It's amazing. So the reason I like this one for tanning the best is because you can make these super tiny when you slide it so that you're literally just covering your nips <laughs> with these little guys. So it makes for very minimal tan lines in this little guy. So this top did not change from this top because we didn't add the seam. The bottoms, all we added was the seam so that it just lays a lot flatter. Just to show you what the adjustable tabs look like. So there's just these little tabs that you can slide so that if you're in front of your parents you can make it a more fuller coverage bottom and then if you're with your friends you can make it a less coverage bottom so i of course wear it as like the complete thong duh it's me and then but when you stretch out the little thingies it becomes more of a fuller coverage bottom compared to the thong and if you want you can even slide these adjustable tabs around to the front and then on the front of the suit you can make it smaller in the front if you'd rather have that it's really completely up to you you can do whatever you want with the little tabs i wanted to make it a little bit thicker because this is very small so it is just the slightest bit thicker so that is the khaleesi suit those are the changes we made for that one 
Next up, we are going to talk about the angel suit. So the angel suit, as I mentioned, was previously the Aphrodite suit. So this was the first top that came out. Now, I did get a few people saying it just wasn't enough coverage, and I completely agree because this is super, super thin. I have tiny boobs, so it's hard for me to create stuff for bigger boobs, which the next suit is perfect for big boobs by the way I've had multiple people say it's amazing anyway we did bring it down a couple inches see how it's just it goes higher up there's a higher up cut now so you just have more coverage for the boobs and it is a little bit wider too so there's more coverage on the side and yeah there's just all in all more coverage for your boobs but it also still has a great amount of cleavage and like I have no boobs and this suit makes me look like I have boobs so this one also does not have adjustable tabs around the ribs it just has the adjustable tabs on the shoulders and the back just kind of looks like this it's like this little like x thing i don't know it's super random i just designed it like that i don't know this top now does have the seam so that it lays much more flat i noticed that because it has the seam on the bottom under your boobs now it can it stays on better i found with that one if i like raise my arms really quick it would like slide up and give me some under boob but because i have the seam now across the bottom under the boobs it stays in place a lot better so these are the original aphrodite slash angel bottoms now as you can see see how with the seamless it just like rolls like you just get a lot of like rolling because it's not like it has no seam like it can just roll so i just i didn't like that this didn't look clean it just like bothered me so now as i said we added the seams and it's so nice now it lays so flat on your body it's so clean you don't have to like constantly be adjusting the straps so that they're not like rolled anymore it's just so freaking clean everything stays in place how it's supposed to by the way everything is high-waisted or at least i wear everything high-waisted but you can wear them lower on your hips so they're very very versatile you can literally like pull it down and wear it like this or pull it up on your hips and wear it high-waisted it just totally depends how you want them to be fitting you so this suit is going to fit relatively the same again i will say with the seams it does seem to make the suits fit a little bit tighter now i think that's a good thing because when it's seamless it almost looks a little bit baggy i don't know it's just because there's like the two layers and if it's not really tight on you it just like looks a little bit baggy if the suit's a little bit too big for you i don't know i like that these fit a little bit tighter they're just they're freaking perfect now this is why it took so long for me to restock more suits because i wanted them to be perfect like i wanted to make these tiny little changes so then again on the bottoms it's a little bit thicker the little vagina area and the camel toe is no more so again this one is a little bit if you can tell it's like a little bit thicker you get more coverage and i think that's basically it for that suit this next suit is definitely the most high waisted here is the previous bottom it is quite similar to the last one but you'll notice the straps are very different and this one is a little bit more high waisted so i wanted like a kind of like thicker upper area so that you can like cover your food babies and stuff you know cover the love handles here is the new one this new one has the seam and these do fit like it doesn't look as high waisted on the camera but it does fit like up high like on your hips so this one goes about to like my belly button and then it goes like a little bit higher on the hips yay and then this top oh my goodness i am obsessed with the changes i made to this top the previous top because it was seamless is kind of messy in my opinion it's just the fabric just like bunches i was getting like rolling i noticed around this part here just because it's seamless like it just slides everywhere we made some fabulous changes we made this bottom band thicker this literally gives so much support like this band is amazing this is upside down right now but we have the thick band that doesn't roll because it has a seam so it lays perfectly flat and then we have on the straps the straps also both have seams now they feel so much thicker they're so sturdy they don't roll when you put them on so the suit just stays perfectly in place how it's supposed to it's hard to show what this one looks like when it's off like a body but it's just like this it has like this little boob hole this makes your boobs look so good you get like that like middle cleavage and then if you like don't want that you can like pull your boobs to the side but why would you not want that and then on the back it just creates this like x and then it has that bottom strap so again this one has no adjustable things anywhere 
but it fits so well like this is a little bit tighter than the old one so this one is really gonna hold you in it's just it's freaking amazing guys i the this suit the changes to this top are probably my favorite from everything it's olive plum midnight which is just black and then sand those are the four new colors that are coming and i will be restocking the older colors but that will be out in the summer i haven't even placed the order yet it's gonna take a while but let me know if you do want those colors because i need to kind of gauge how much i need to restock like i have no idea dude I'm so hyped. Okay, so I did ask on Instagram if anyone had any questions about the launch. I'm gonna take a look at my Instagram right now, see if I got any questions that I haven't answered already, and then I will answer those for you guys now. Okay, so I'm noticing some questions about pricing. So the pricing is not changing from before. I'm keeping the exact same prices. I haven't upped them or anything. They are the same. So it ranges anywhere from around $46 up to $54. And that's per piece because everything is sold separately. Like you can buy your top and bottom separate because I hate when they sell stuff as a set together. So you can mix and match sizes, colors, styles, whatever you want. Each little piece is sold individually. I'm getting some questions about what size I am. So I do wear small top small bottom and I, I find that they're very true to size I found that all the girls when they did the try on video they thought everything was very true to size so I do also have a sizing chart on the website so you can check that out that's really all I can say about sizing is there any padding in this launch no none of these suits have any pads I mean I guess you could cut like a little hole and put your own padding in if you like really want padding in them but I personally don't really wear swimsuits with padding just because I don't know it's a vibe I guess I can do padding in future launches maybe or have an option to do padding I just don't know how popular padding is for people where are they made the suits are produced in Brazil it is this amazing company that took me so long to find but i do actually want to go out to brazil just so i can show you guys how everything's made i really want to just show you guys the manufacturing facility and everything like that but i do like video chat with the team and everything so i do feel very comfortable in working with this team how long does it take to ship to the us i can't really predict how long things take honestly to get to australia it takes a very long time it takes around a month maybe even longer to ship to australia because i'm just using canada post right now i think for next launch i really want to switch to fedex or something like that or dhl something that is just better at shipping worldwide uh, you can get tracking if you do lowest priced shipping option you are not going to get a tracking number which i know is sucks i'm going to change that in the future i'm just i'm working by myself guys i am one person like this is not easy for me to do i'm learning as i go i do want to work on getting like free shipping or a lower price shipping along with all suits having a tracking number because i agree i, I love having tracking numbers too so i get it i get the struggle you can do returns so you can always get a suit and return it right now i don't cover returns returns i know i'm so sorry i don't pay for returns right now that is on the person who buys it so if you do want to return something you have to pay for shipping to ship it back to me i'm so sorry i know that's probably a deal breaker for some people i can't afford to pay for everybody's returns right now like i i i can't for now you do have to pay for your own returns when you send it back to me which i think is pretty standard for a small business and i can't do exchanges because i can't promise that what you want will be in stock so you do just have to return it and then order again uh that's just how it works like if i like last time i sold out pretty quickly so Oh, I of course wouldn't be able to do, do an exchange because I don't have any sizes left So that's the only reason I don't do exchanges right now because I just I don't have enough stock to do exchanges If you're between sizes, would you recommend sizing up or down? I would recommend sizing down because they are just they're very stretchy So if you size up, I think it would be way too big on you So if you're between sizes size down is stock limited and will there be other launches before summer ends? Stock will be pretty limited. They're gonna go pretty quickly. I don't think I'm gonna restock these colors for summer but I will be restocking the brighter colors and the brighter colors will have the new changes so they're not going to be the like seamless like the old ones they're going to be the ones with the new and improved updates and then yeah there will be the older brighter colors plus I might be adding one new surprise summer color in there so I think I'm going to order those very quickly <laughs> after these launch I will be aiming to restock the brighter colors around june or july do you know if there's any impact fees or taxes when shipping to mexico or any other country so i have zero control over this this all just depends on your border laws and regulations i didn't get any complaints last time about any taxes or customs so i actually 
don't know if you have to pay. A lot of people asking if the sizes are the same. The sizes are the same. I base them off the exact same. I do find they just feel a little bit tighter now that they're not seamless. I think I covered everything. I think I answered most of the questions just within the video and then now doing that little Q&A after. Yeah, I think that's gonna be everything. I hope you guys are excited. I'm so sorry it took so long to restock. I will be much quicker now. I'm gonna work to really expand this brand. I really want it to get bigger. I already have new samples of new styles that I wanna come out with. I do wanna come out with like a one piece. Just uh, so many things I wanna do. So, whew. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you for supporting Night Swim. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you're excited for launch. Again, it is this Friday, March 29th. I'm so excited. Okay, bye guys.